And you thought you were a table football star? Students at the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne in Switzerland have developed a robot that can beat humans at the game, hitting the ball almost twice as hard as any real-life player. A special software drives its strategy, while these powerful and agile bars allow it to quickly adjust players' positions on the field with extreme precision. First, a linear motor for displacing in the linear way the players, and secondly, a rotational motors to kick the ball. The system can now achieve a sub-millimeter precision in positioning, can shoot almost twice as strong as an average human player, and updates the, the rod's position 300 times per second. It took the students six months to design and assemble the prototype. In order to see the ball, they equipped the robot with a high-speed camera located underneath the table's transparent floor. The camera collects 300 images a second, which are then processed by the computer to analyze the movement of the ball in real time. The computer then controls the movement and positioning of the arm. In order to detect the ball position, there is a camera placed below the soccer table and as we have a transparent ground, we can get the picture from, the, from, this, from this ground, send it to the computer, and the computer will process this and detect the ball position on the ground. Could this herald a new era where robots compete against humans in sports? Some experts say robots would often win thanks to their speed and accuracy. But the problem comes when they're placed in uncontrolled environments, where a sudden gust of wind may change everything and not compute with their programming. It doesn't really know the world, you know, it only knows what we've told it. It's probably only been alive, alive for two or three years. We've had 3.6 billion years of evolution to get us used to it, this environment. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have to say I'm a little bit pessimistic. It'll, it'll take a robot quite a long time, or it'll take us a long time to develop these robots. Um, decades, probably, maybe even hundreds of years before they're, they're really in a position to, to challenge professional sportsmen. Back in Lausanne, the students who designed the table football robot now plan to give it a more sophisticated strategy. The current system only allows it to detect the ball, stop it, then shoot towards the goal. The next step is a strategy. Now we have various information in addition to our own player. We know where the opponents are, so we could design a more uh, advanced strategy where we have, where we deal with all this information to, for example, kick uh, on the side uh, to read the goal of the opponent. The students now also hope to set up a table football competition between robots, where programmers compete using different strategies.